Hey guys, what is up? I had a different video planned for today, but I decided I have to stop putting off candling the eggs. So it's been about four weeks, and I candled them. And I got some news, guys. They're all turning out great. They have veins. Uh, you can see some embryo action going on. There's some darker spots, like things being formed. So they are all good. Everything has something going on. I hope you fell for that right there. Uh, I'm a pretty good actor, you know. They said I could be in Hollywood, but I chose reptiles. So, uh, anyway, um, is, is something funny back there? What, what's funny? I'm sorry, okay. All right. Um, anyway, I do have a couple concerns. Uh, there's some greenish spots, and it's really not that bad. But I want to take, you know, I want to take care of it earlier than later. Uh, there's some greenish spots on some of the eggs. Um, just, and uh, there's a growth on something in the back. I think it's just calcified a little bit. I don't know. But, um, I got this. I can't pronounce it for the life of me. Uh, Olivia, you can go for it. The Theosorb AF. Okay, so this is something pretty common from what I've been re uh, researching on the internet to put on some eggs that are molding a little bit. Uh, you know, Rose City Reptiles has a video on this, and I think, like, Snake Discovery, some bigger channels. So, I got some of that, and I'm gonna put some of this on the Aki eggs that I'm concerned about. And I'm gonna put them in a separate little container in here. I added some water already, there's some perlite in there. And I'm just gonna put them separate so it doesn't moldy up any of the other ones. Uh, I probably should have double-checked to make sure that this doesn't have, uh, a cover on it. Let's do that real quick. Can't even open it. <laughs> How do you heck the oh, oh peel here to open? Oh, we're smart. We oui. getting my PhD by the way. Um. Anyway, okay. So let's go to it. Open this bad boy up, and I hope you guys will be able to see it. I had to get a pretty fine, uh, like a what is this called, like a pen light or pen flashlight? Yeah, it's a pen light. Yeah, so I had to get a pretty fine one, and it does have some light that comes from the sides there, and I had to tape it up just so it didn't come out a little bit more and it would focus behind the egg. So let's see if Olivia can get in here and we can get a little bit of a look, I guess, at some of these eggs. You can see some of the veins, hopefully. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see it. I'm going to do my best. All right, so let's take a look here. Hopefully you guys can see it. it looks a little bit more bright on the camera from what I can see let me see if I can hide the light a little bit more you can see some veins in there though I hopefully you can see it on the camera it looks like the, the light is making it a little bit worse there you could really see some dark spots inside seems like you guys are having the rough end of it I just saw you see that movement yeah that's awesome. You saw that though? Yeah, you see it in the camera. Yeah, okay, let's look over here. All right, this one is a little dented, but you can see some vein action on the bottom there. Um, so there's definitely stuff going on. But like I said, you can see there's a big dent on top. Um, I added in a decent amount of water last time I did this. So I was hoping that would pop out a little bit. Maybe it still will. I know some eggs, like this one has a little bit of a dent going on over here. Um, have dents just throughout their cycle and it's fine. I'm hoping this won't be a problem, but they do look rather dented. Let's look at this one real quick, though. See, this one's a little bit harder to see through, but you can definitely see some dark spots in there, uh, especially right there. Um, so definitely some action going on in there. There we go. You can really see it there. And then over here, this one is one of the ones I'm concerned about. It's tough to see at the moment, but it does have some green on it in the back there. Um, let's see if we can look in here. You see it's darker on the bottom. This one's a tough one to get through too. But you can see a little bit of veins in the bottom left, at least some dark spots. This one is the hardest one to get through too though, from what I've seen so far. But you can see some action. It's probably the best you're gonna see right there. Let's move over to the next one. Let's see if I can get a spot on this. What do you see? Anything in the camera, Olivia? This isn't the best lighting for... This one's a little less powerful, but this is the thinnest beam I could find. Uh, I want to move it back a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. 
look to the right. I think you see some of those dark spots in the top. You probably see a little bit, but this one's a little harder. I think there's some veins on the bottom there I can't really get to. The one behind it though, yeah, you can see some action going on in there. You see right in the middle there. Then down below, there's some, there's some vein action. Let me see if I can get behind it a little bit. These are a little hard to get to. This is my first time doing this kind of as well, so apologies if I'm not really getting the stuff right. It's probably the best you're going to get. But you could definitely see some dark marks. I don't know if we did this one. Here, you could definitely see some action. See that movement in there, Olivia? Mm -hmm. On the left. Yeah. You see a lot of veins in there. Next one behind it. This one has the weird growth on it. On the left, you can see that dark spot uh, right right there where the light is. Um, but there's definitely action going on in there. You can see a lot of movement. Uh, I'll put some stuff on there and uh, move that one as well. This one over here, you can see some veins going on. Trying to get it good for the camera. You can see a little bit of veins in the camera. I could really see a lot. Oh, there you go. You see in the top right there? There's veins. There you go. A lot of darkness going on in there, too. Now, let's try the one in the back here. You can see a lot of veins in there. And then a really dark spot below. You see that dark spot? It's really cool. I don't see any movement, but that spot is probably the darkest spot I've seen in here. Okay, let's look at the last one. Look at that one, guys. It's a nice vein in there. I think I see a little movement in the bottom left. They all look pretty good. All of them have some sort of action going on in there. I'm pretty happy. All right, so after that, we did cover the eggs in that antifungal powder. Uh, we recorded it, as you can see some footage here, but the audio is a little messed up, so I'm just doing a little bit of a voiceover. There wasn't too much going on, but yeah, I did cover it in the powder, put them back in the incubator in a separate container. Other than that, guys, I did talk to Jeff Easter a little bit during my recording. He's been breeding Ackies for a while, and he gave me the advice of trying to put um, sort of a damp paper towel on top of dented eggs to help them uh you know get undented so i thought i would try that i put a wet paper towel it's kind of not really wet but i, I soaked it in water i kind of wringed it out so it's kind of damp and i put them on top of my eggs that are somewhat dented uh, i think there's four or five under there but i think there's only two that i'm that are majorly dented i would say uh that i'm most worried about but hopefully this will help this will save them a little bit um, I have to do something about them, obviously, because I can't really have them that dented as you saw earlier in the video. Um, but I'm gonna try my hand at that, and hopefully that will work out. And like I said, after I put the fungus powder on the two eggs that were having, uh, potential mold issues, I did put it back in the incubator in the back there. I put them along the outside so they can get some of that moisture. Um, one of them does have a pretty big dent on the bottom, which is, uh, pretty, pretty problematic. I would say, um, and I kind of did a little bit more water in the perlite underneath it to try to combat that. So hopefully that will work out and all these eggs will turn out fine because obviously all of them have some activity going on in them. So I'm really hoping they work out. All right guys, so that's about it for today. Uh, some good news today, I'm really happy. I was a little worried that they were all gonna be unfertile, but they turned out to be uh, in really good shape for the most part. So far my mistakes have not, uh, I guess, outdone my progress. So I'm happy, I hope to keep it that way. Hopefully we can get those dents out and everything will be good from now on. So fingers crossed. Anyway guys, next week I am out on vacation, my last vacation of the summer before I go back to, you know, my next semester and everything. Uh, so I will not be posting a video next week. Uh, I didn't do extra videos, I didn't really have time. Uh, I will try to get a video on Saturday posted, uh, fingers crossed, but I don't know. It's kind of stressful getting ready for vacation, it's weird, but it is. Um, so I will try, but no promises. 
If anything, I'll see you guys roughly in a week and a half. So until then, we're leaving it on some good news, and I'll see you guys next time. Feel free to subscribe. Check out my social media in the description. See you guys.